YouTube, you know who it is. Chris Jones, represent for Zeke's Greatness. Got my workout gear, my POG shirt. Be sure to check out that spread shirt, though. Get you about 30 of them bitches. I'm about to go ahead and head to the gym. I got my gym bag pack. Got my post-workout shake and Gatorade in this bitch. Got my BCAs on deck. Never go without them if I can help it. And I'll see y'all at the gym. I got a fellow YouTuber joining me, man. So stay tuned. Y'all see that shit right there, man? Only in Texas, man. I ain't gonna lie. This shit look fun on the motherfucker riding the horses in the street. Finally here. Yeah, but you wear pajamas to the gym, man. It's my Halloween costume. Okay, okay. No, I am. Got your ogre shirt on <laughs> with the beanie. Yeah, man, ready to go get it. Ready to go hit it. Let's cry today. Fuck, man. That's all right, though. <laughs> and there ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't no shit talking here. You want to talk shit? Let's go to the ring. <laughs> Alright homies and home met. so as you see, we jumped it off with the machine chest flies to warm up, then we went straight to the incline press, I mean my bad, the incline bench, I like to do incline first man, the, inc the upper chest is the hardest part to develop man, you can get that gorilla pick action going on easily, with years of training, flat benching, dipping, but that upper chest is hard to get, and I don't know about you, but I want to look good in my V-neck shirt, you understand? I want those upper chest muscles popping through the shirt. No collarbone action, all muscle. So we pyramided, we did like four sets this day. We pyramided, started off with 185, and we just repped it out. We didn't even count reps. I spotted Van, Van spotted me, and as soon as I felt like I couldn't do no more than one more, I racked that bitch back up, okay? So we went 185, then went to 225, and again, repped that bitch till I couldn't get any more. Now, I didn't go to complete failure. Complete failure is when, you know, you get failure and your partner spots you for some force rips. I just went till I couldn't get any more with a good form. Van, he just kept it at 225. He didn't go past that. He wanted to keep his reps above eight. Then I went to 275. As you know, I'm bulking up. I want to go as heavy as possible, going heavy as possible. Ensure you're getting stronger. Ensure those fast twitch fibers are being worked. It enables you to hit failure with lower reps. You know, I hate going high reps when I'm fat because I run out of breath. All right, like I said, Van kept it at 225. He wanted to keep his reps above eight. I think on his last set, he got about seven, but that was his last set. And I was like, fuck it, man. Let me go ahead and pay my dear respects to the big girls one time. I knew I had no business going this heavy, you know what I mean? But I still want to feel it anyway. I got to face those fears, you understand? I got to say, I only got one this day. I usually get about two or three, but I only got one. And Van helped me force out two more. And I'm a firm believer in keeping your reps above five when you're trying to train for hypertrophy. When you're trying to gain size, I believe in keeping it above five. So what I did was I did a drop set. You know what I mean? Just to ensure I get my reps in. I ain't no fucking power lifter. I want to look good. So I'm all about getting those reps in. I'm all about going close to failure to ensure I hit as much fast twitch fibers as possible. Those are the fibers that give you that size. And then as we did incline bench, we went straight to the flat bench. And we didn't go for extra heavy weight. Van kept it at two plates. I went two plates and a quarter. And we just kept the rep between eight to 12. You know, as you, you probably can't see that, but I do have a quarter on the end. Big girls need love too. You damn right, guys. Big girls need love too. <laughs> So I decided to pay my respects to the big girls one more time and get me about four or five reps in this bitch. So after I did my flat bench, we went to the chest press. That way we can really squeeze those pecs. This hammer strip machine mimics dumbbells. 
So it's really gonna, it's really gonna get inside those pecs and the inner pecs really squeeze the fuck out of them. And it ensures you have no muscle imbalances because you're working each arm individually. Then we did the, then we did fly one more time, but we went heavy as fuck. We did like six reps on our own, and then we forced out by three or four more to make it hella intense and hella hard. This is very taxing, man. It's harder than it looks, you know what I mean? We were fucking smoked. You ain't stacking, you ain't macking, bitch! <laughs> so after chest, we decided throwing some tries and traps. This right here is for the tries. This works the long head in particular. It mimics the skull crusher. It mimics the French press. It mimics the overhead extension. This right here is great. Try it out if you have uh, cables in your gym. Then we went ahead and did some lateral head work. And that's right there, it's press downs. The medial head of the tricep gets plenty of stimulation during dips, during uh, bench presses. So there's no need to hit that directly, unless you want to. Then I did press by myself. By myself, I did upright rows to loosen up those uptight hoes. Then I went ahead and put four wheels on the bar and knocked out me some shrugs. I got about eight to ten reps each set, and that's all for the day, folks. Hey guys, just got done training hardcore, man. Got the owner Rindy over here, man. What's up, y'all? Hardcore Metro Flex Fort Worth owner right here, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, y'all see, I got my Gatorade already drunken. I got my MTS Way, 5% link in the description. If you happen to give a fuck, I'll see y'all at the restaurant. All right, homies and home mess, as you see, we're at VIP at my favorite restaurant. <laughs> we're at Denny's. Yeah, man. We're looking through the menu. You already know what I want. I, on the way here, I already knew what I was getting. Van is holding us up, looking through the menu. Like he never been here before. Let me see what I'm rocking right now, guys. Look at my new winter hat, guys. I wish you not. I wear this to the gym, man. Turn it sideways. Show them the mane. Yeah, man. Awesome hat, man. Nice beanie, custom made. It'll get you laid. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want some, y'all want to check out the fucking uh, Facebook fan page for these little beanies. The link's gonna be on the screen. No, not in the screen, cause you can't put links. I'll put the name on the screen and link in the description if you wanna check out the beanies, man. I'ma definitely wear mine to the gym and troll some people. Anyway, when my food come, I'ma show it to you. Go ahead, you know, hey man, y'all live once, man. Let me get some pancakes. YOLO. <laughs> Pancake puppies, a little peanut butter sauce. I know I'm cleaning up my diet, and technically I still am cleaning up my diet, but I wanted some fucking sweets. Well, that was organic ice cream. Yeah, like <laughs> organic fried <honey. laughs> Man. That's healthy fat. Woo! All right, homies and home mates. Dinner is served. As you see, we got the... Um, wait, what, what is this, man? <laughs> this is a strong bulky meal right here. I see that. Egg white omelet. We got some spinach in there. Oh, good God. That is, um, look, the way you open that bitch up, we were like, ah, <laughs> damn. A little bacon. It came with turkey bacon. Look at me. Don't eat <laughs> turkey bacon. There's no reason to. The difference between turkey bacon and normal bacon is one gram of fat. One gram of fat. <laughs> you are saving nine fucking calories by switching from turkey bacon from normal bacon. You just go with the real shit. Unless you got something against pork. If you're a religious beliefs. Beliefs, <laughs> etc. Prevents you from eating pork. Don't eat turkey bacon. Yeah, I love that fucking sweet, sweet swine, man. <laughs> As y'all see, guys, I got me some hearty wheat pancakes. I got me three servings of egg whites, and I got me a chicken sausage patty. And some sugar-free syrup on deck, and water, guys. No unsweet tea. So I guess you're hitting motherfuckers one today. I had Splenda in my coffee. He had a little Splenda in his coffee. <laughs> For all you hippie motherfuckers. <laughs> oh yeah, man. I forgot to tell him. Oh yeah. Austin. Tell him where, tell him where we're going to be in Austin tomorrow. That's some show. That's, see, Van's actually here, guys, because you know he does online coaching as well. And one of his clients is about to be in a natural bodybuilding show in Austin. We're going to go show some support. The MPC State Naturals. It's going to be on Saturday. We're heading to Austin tomorrow. 
I'll be checking out my um, boy, making sure he's carving up right, going over his freaking posing. Um, we got the morning show Saturday, evening show Saturday, then we're tearing up the freaking town Saturday night. Yeah. So be follow, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook if you have to be interested in seeing where we at. We're going to be at the show. We're going to be, um, what's that shit, 6th Street? I don't know what's, what's popping in Austin. I've never been to Austin. You ever been to Austin? No. Anyways. Don't forget to like my shit. Subscribe to my shit. Oh, and subscribe to my boy Van Bra. Comment, subscribe. How about I get your boy? Chris Jones. Chris Jones. Chris Jones.